Okay, the next set of exercises we're going to do in lying uh, on my back. And we need two bits of equipment. The one I need something for stretching. So for that I, for I, for that I use a groovy gripper. Um, but we can also use a towel. Alright, so just something solid. People ask, often ask me, can they use a TheraBand for the stretch? No, um, because I want, I want a solid piece of equipment. And then for the next thing we're going to do, um, lying on my back, just a bit of glute strengthening. And for that we can use, um, I quite like using a TheraLoop, um, but you can also use a TheraBand. Uh, so that's, this you'll see has some stretch in it. Um, the different colors indicate different um, intensities of the exercise. So again, you can choose something that works for you. All right. For the next one, what we're going to do, we're going to do a bit of a stretch of the hamstring, so the back of the thigh and the calf. All right. I like the one lying on my back. I grab my towel or my gripper, groovy gripper, and I start with my hip and knee at 90. So that angle at 90 and that at 90. And I hold on to there. And I keep the angle of my hip at 90. So this stays at 90. And from there, I'm going to straighten my knee up as much as I can. All right. So some of you will be able to get your knee fully straight. You'll see in here I have slightly tight hamstrings. So it is difficult to get my knee fully straight. What I don't want to do is I don't want to lower the the uh, my hip so that I can get my knee straight there. All right. So I want to keep it at this 90 angle and straighten it up as much as I can. And again, we're going to hold that for 15 to 30 seconds. I've probably done about 15 in talking to you, so we're just going to do 15 more. All right, so holding that up there. And the whole time I want to keep trying to straighten the knee as much as I can. So to really kind of use that. All right, and then I'm going to relax again. And I'm going to do one more. Often the first one is quite stiff, a bit more difficult. But as we do the, as we do a few more repetitions, so it gets a little bit easier. All right. Just holding it into there. Keep trying to straighten my knee. All right. And hold it for another five seconds. Good. And relax. All right. Cool. So that was the calf stretch. The next exercise I'm going to do, I'm going to work my glutes, so my buttock muscles. All right. I can use the band to get some extra contraction around that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a few without and then show you how it is with. All right. So I need, firstly with this one, you need to have enough knee bend. So if you're struggling to get that knee to bend, then it might not be the right exercise. So if you have a bit of a stiffer knee and it's like maybe only to there, it might be a difficult exercise. All right. So you're going to bend both your knees. All right. I like to use my hands often just to give a little bit of stability. And we don't need to use them if we're better. You're going to push down, you're going to tighten the buttocks, and you want to lift your bottom up off the bed for me, just like that. All right, hold it there, and then slowly lower back. All right. Things I want to look out for, I don't want to get my knees squeezing together. All right, not like that. Okay, you want to keep your knees sort of hip distance apart, and I'm going to push up like that. All right. So often when I hear people saying, oh, my lower back is hurting when I do that. Often what is happening then is you lifting up with your uh, back rather than using and engaging the buttock muscles. So my tip is just tighten the buttock muscles or squeeze the buttocks a little bit together and try and engage the buttocks rather than using your lower back. All right, if you were to feel the back up here or low, um, low down here, the muscles on the other side should be soft and they should not be rigid. All right. Now, if you're struggling to keep your knees apart or you want to engage a little bit more around the buttocks, you can tie a band or use a thera loop around your legs. I know I bend that easily without my operator leg. Always put the operator leg in first 
and then the unoperated leg. Just easier to do it that way. All right, so now what I'm going to do, same exercise, except I'm just going to pull out against the band first. I can feel the buttocks engaging a little bit more on the outside. And, and then I'm going to lift up. So same exercise, just a little bit more contraction around the pelvis. What we know with knees is that the stronger we are around the pelvis, so my buttocks area, the more I am able to unload the knee. All right. So that's why in a lot of programs, there's a lot of focus on the buttocks or glutes. And again, 8 to 12 of these, I'm going to do two more. The other thing you want to make sure with this is that you try to get your buttocks completely up off the floor and that you kind of sort of nice parallel as high up as you can. What you don't want to try and do is sort of just clear where you're kind of there. Now I know that might happen if you're a little bit, if you're struggling or you have other issues but the goal is to clear the bed as much as you can. All right. For this exercise, what we're going to do is uh, try and increase the knee bend um, on the operator leg. Okay. So what I like for this is just sitting on a uh, harder surface. It can be a chair, it can be a uh, bed, um, it can be a table. All right. Sometimes it's nice if you've got a little bit of um, sort of flexion where you can take your leg back a little bit. So, but it's not actually needed. All right. When I'm doing bending exercises on a bed, I like to have a little towel underneath my thigh. So I've got a towel, just a hand towel. I'm going to, I've folded it up. I'm just going to pop it underneath my knee, just like that. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I can hold for some support. All right. And I am going to push this right leg forward at the same time I'm going to pull the left leg back so it's a push forward and a pull back all at the same time so putting it there so it's what we call an isometric nothing is moving all right but I am pushing so I'm going to push forward with my right leg so I'm pushing forward and I'm pulling back with the left leg and I'm holding it there for six seconds so that's six five four three two one and as I relax I pull further back with my left, left leg, right. So what's happening in the exercise is sometimes my quads don't allow my knee to bend very well, all right, because it's like kind of they're protecting. So as I want to bend the knee and they go, oh, that might be painful. Now what we know is if we do maximum contraction, so maximum pushing up and forward, trying to straighten the knee, that often leads to a maximum relaxation. So it allows me to then bend my knee a little bit. So that's what we're using, a contract relax principle. All right. So again, I'm going to pull back with my left leg, with my left leg and push forward with my right leg or my operated leg. Okay, so it's a push and pull, so I'm holding it there. And as I relax, I pull it back a little bit. All right. And I can often feel the tension in my knee or my thigh easing with that. And again, I'm going to push and pull. So we're going to do six of them. This is my third one. And relax. So it's kind of a progression in a hospital, or you might have been doing sort of in the first two weeks, you might have been doing an exercise where you were kind of lifting the leg up. So you were, you were doing that for me. Right, and then coming back down, or you started maybe with a bit of assistance up and giving it a push further back. So it's kind of taking that same exercise, just taking it one step, but rather than working quads and strengthening, it's actually about gathering more flexion, all right, or bending the knee. Okay, last one, it's a push and pull forward. I'm pushing forward with my right leg, pulling back with my left leg, holding it there for six, five, four, three, two, one and relaxing and bending it a little bit further as I bend. All right.